Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today, I'm gonna do a twist on a Nicaraguan salad called Ensalada Vigaron. Classically, or traditionally, this salad is done using steamed chunks of yuca. Yuca is a root vegetable, except I'm gonna turn it on its side and make it with malenga or taro root. Have you ever seen a bag of taro chips and those big round chips with the little purple threads in them? That's what this is. I'm gonna bust this up right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside and how to cook it. Easy like that, just like peeling a potato. Make sure you get all the bark off. Nobody likes chewing on wood. All right, we'll take the thick end, cut off any extra that we might have missed. And then we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut it into, I don't know, one and a half, two inch thick chunks. Should be good. So as you can see, this one doesn't have the purple threads in it, but it's still a taro root or a malenga. So first, I'm gonna, I have boiling water with a little bit of salt in it, and I'm gonna put these in there and get them going. You want them soft, you want them tender, because you don't wanna be chewing, it's like chewing on a raw potato, you don't want that. While our malanga root or taro root is cooking, we're gonna make the ensalada, which is salad. I've taken a white cabbage and shredded it on my Japanese mandolin. I have some nice sliced shallots, red radishes, cilantro, and another twist on this salad is I'm gonna add mango to it. One more thing that we're gonna do, surprise! I have a nice piece of East Coast halibut, filet. So we're gonna take this and saute it, and we're gonna turn this into a halibut salad. So we take our cabbage, bowl, we're gonna take our shallots, our radishes, mango, and then we're gonna chop up some cilantro. Use as much or as little as you want of the cilantro. It's all in your discretion. We don't wanna chop it up too much because we don't wanna be licking the cutting board for the flavor. Just wanna give it a little rough chop. It's a rustic salad. We're then gonna salt it, a little bit of salt. We're gonna take our lemon juice, our orange juice. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We're now just gonna give that a stir. And then we, let, then we let our acid and salt do their dirty work. Put it in the fridge about 15, 20 minutes, just long enough until the malanga is cooked. This is how we're gonna turn our ensalada vigaron into a seafood salad. We're about ready, so I'm gonna turn it off. It's, it's warm. We kinda want it warm, steamed chunks of warm root vegetables because that's gonna soak up all that juice that we, that we marinated our cabbage with. First, that's right, salt, salt on the front side. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do it with salt and pepper. Only cause I don't like the, I don't like the black dots on my fish. Hot saute pan, white side down. This is the side that touches the bones. This is the side that touches the skin. If you cook this skin side down first without the skin on it, then it's gonna separate and you're gonna have a big mushy filet of all over the place. So that's why we're cooking the bone side down. Not today, camera guy, we're not flaming nothing today. Once the pan is, once the pan is hot, the fish starts to brown, you're gonna turn it down. Let it cook slow. No need to flip it, because we want to get we want to get a nice crust on the top side of it. While that's sauteing, we're gonna take our steam chunks and line them up on our plate. And then we're gonna take our marinated cabbage, the ensalada. We give it a final taste. Ready to roll. Layer that 
right on top of those beautiful root vegetables. Get all the colors, get all the flavors. We let the juice from the salad run down into the bottom of the plate. Because now that those steamed chunks of malanga, they will now absorb all of that dressing. Let's check on the fish. See, we got a nice crust on it. We're gonna flip it over and turn it off. Wanna serve this medium, make a nice translucent filet. Halibut doesn't have a lot of fat in it, so if you overcook it, it's gonna be dry. Almost like a scallop. Get all the sides. Take our halibut, we take the pan to the plate. And there we go. Sauteed halibut and salada vigoron. My way.